yung umaga. First is Senate Bill 2293 or the expanded the expanded Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Act filed by Senator Mark Villar. This bill adds value to our existing anti-vousy law as it introduces protective measures against electronic violence against women and children that may or may not be gender-induced. Second is Senator Cynthia Villiers, SB 2232, which fills in the gaps of our safe spaces law by providing for specific penalties for gender-based sexual harassment in the workplace and in education and training institutions. And third is Senate Bill 2529, which was filed by yours truly. The bill reorganizes the Council for the Welfare of Children into the Philippine Commission on Children, which is in recognition of the need for a stronger institution that ensures that the needs of one of the most vulnerable sectors are met and their well-being protected. Ang mga bills na ito ay bahagi ng ating pagpapayaman ng mga batas na kasalukuyan ng gumagabay sa atin at ang pagpapatatag ng isang institusyong patuloy na nangangalaga sa ating mga anak. Hindi ko na po pahahabain upang maumpisahan na nating marinig ang inyong mga komento tungkol sa mga panukalang batas na ito. Maraming salamat. Before we start the discussion, let us first acknowledge our resource persons. May I request our committee secretary to read the names of our resource persons joining us today. Good morning, everyone. For the record, the committee would like to acknowledge the presence of the following resource person. From the Department of Health, we have Dr. Alexander Leandro de la Fuente, Dr. Joseph John Fermoso. From the Department of Information and Communication Technology, we have Director Yesli Corazon Hain. Then we have Engineer Maria and Andrea Hernandez Lara. From the Department of Interior and Local Government, we have Attorney Rona Rica Angel Octavio. From the Department of Justice, we have Attorney Maria Lawrence Juan. From the Department of Labor and Employment, we have Attorney Nathaniel Barairo, Attorney Sheena Balete, and then from the, the Juvenile Justice and Welfare Council, we have Ms. Lily Beth Gallego. From the National Authority on Child Care, we have Assistant Secretary Rowena Makalintal. Then from the National Bureau of Investigation, we have Ha Yelin Agus. Then from the National Youth Commission, we have Attorney Rina Vivien Pineda. Okay. Then from the, from the Philippine Commission on Women, we have uh, Maria Rebecca Rafaela Bailosis. From the Philippine National Police, we have Police Brigadier General Portia B. Manalad. Then from the Commission on Higher Education, we have Attorney Peter Lloyd Carpio. From the Council for the Welfare of Children, we have Undersecretary Angelo M. Tapales. From the National, from the Democratic Socialist Women of the Philippines, we have Miss Elizabeth Angshoko. From the uh, Department of Budget and Management, we have Attorney Trisha Baraan. Okay, hi. Then from the National Youth Commission, we have Attorney Rina Vivien Pineda. From the Philippine National Police, we have... Uh, okay, I mentioned Then... Mm -hmm. From the Early Childhood Care and Development Council, we have Mr. Edwin Talion. Hi. And uh, Ms. Cara Catherine Uwe. From the Save the Children Philippines, we have Attorney Emma Salmani. Uh, from the Young Feminist Collective, we have Ms. Isabel Eugene Agregado. Yeah. Yeah. Then from the PLCPD, we have Ms. Sara Calma. Then from UNICEF Philippines, we have Mr. Ramil Anton Bellafranca and Ms. Rodelisa Barrientos Casado. 
That's all, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Comsec. And friends, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Sen Rafi Tulfo. Salamat Sen sa pagdalo nyo. Thank you, Madam Chair. Would you like to make any opening uh, remarks? Uh, Mamaya na lang, Madam Chair. All right po. Salamat Sen Rafi. So, uh, dear resource persons, uh, the committee is now ready to listen to your comments and proposals. Uh, however, I would like to seek your indulgence that in the interest of time, we shall be covering all three bills in a single round. I'd like to request the resource persons to limit your presentation to not more than two minutes, if possible. And we'd kindly ask you to submit your complete position papers uh, to the committee. So uh, I was about to call first on... Just a minute. Right. All right. So... So to proceed, uh, may I call on? So we'll begin uh, with um, our department. Yes, Sen Rafi. <laughs> Salamat, Sen Rafi. All right. So we will begin with our uh, resource person from the Department of Health, Dr. Joseph John Formoso. Doctor, you have the floor. Yes, good morning, Madam Senator. Uh, if I may uh, read the position paper regarding yes, Senate Bill number 2529, uh, reorganize, reorganizing the Council for the Welfare of uh, Children to the Philippine Commission on Children. Uh, the Department of Health uh, supports the proposed Senate Bill number 2529 which seeks the, to reorganize the Council for the Welfare of Children into the Philippine Commission on Children. The DOH believes that this is an important step towards uh, re recognizing and addressing the unique challenges faced by children in our society. And this uh, legislation not only provides uh, tangible benefits such as uh, additional privileges and access to social services for children, but also reflects a commitment to fostering a compassionate and socially responsible community. The DOH, as a health focus agency, will ensure that the proposed legislation aligns with the public health principles and contributes to the overall well being of uh, children. As for programs and services provided by the DOH, the department uh, generally offers a diverse array of programs and services aimed at protecting uh, children and promoting their well being. And uh, this will include uh, immunization programs, maternal and uh, child health programs, nutrition programs, oral health programs, mental health programs, and other initiatives to address uh, child health issues. And in consideration of the foregoing, the DOH poses no objection to the proposed House uh, Senate bill, recognizing, recognizing its uh, potential to strengthen the protection and welfare of children through a dedicated oversight body. And the DOH position as a member of the Board of Commissioners will undergo further study, and the department will conduct a comprehensive assessment of its capacity and expertise to ensure it can effectively contribute to overseeing matters uh, related to safeguarding children. And additionally, the DOH will carefully evaluate how this proposed role aligns with its core responsibilities and if it allows for active and meaningful contributions to the goals outlined in the legislation. That's uh, for uh, the DOH position paper, Madam Chair. Thank you, Dr. Formoso. I'm sure the USEC of CWC will be happy to hear about uh, the department's position. Yes. Salamat po. Now we will hear from, uh, for the DICT, uh, will it be Director Yesli Corazon or Engineer Maria Andrea? Good morning, Senator. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you have the floor, Director Haen. Um, Senator, um, the, the DICT poses no objections and fully support the bills presented and we will um, provide our comments and position paper to the committee. Salamat, Director Yesli Corazon. The committee will look forward to the submission of your position paper, the department's position paper. Um, kahit patapos na itong session na to, and we are moving into a break, 
Uh, the Senate rules allow naman for us to continue our legislative work during a break. So uh, I will look forward to uh, a technical working group uh, on the on the three bills uh, during this break. So salamat po sa kahandaan ng uh, department na lumahok. Thank you, ma'am. And now we will hear from the DILG, Attorney Rona Rica Angel Octavo. Yes, ma'am, you have the floor. Good morning, Madam Chair, and to the members of the Honorable Committee. Um, we would like to manifest that the Department of the Interior and local government fully supports the passage of three of these three Senate bills. On Senate Bill number 2232, of course, we have no objection to the proposal of implementing penalties for gender-based sexual harassment in educational and training institutions, as well as in the workplace. This initiative would help strengthen the enforcement of the law, acknowledging the prevalence of sexual harassment in such environment. Considering the implementation of this law, may we, uh, we are pleased to inform you that the Department and the PCW or the Philippine Commission on Women issued, issued a memorandum circular this is cir Memorandum Circular Number 2020-001, entitled Guidelines on the Localization of Safe Spaces Act. The said JMC provides guidelines for LGUs on their roles to prevent gender-based sexual harassment, particularly in streets and public spaces. For Senate Bill Number 2293, we fully express our support on this bill. Um, however, concerning the LGUs, please be informed that there is an existing mechanism called the Local Committees on Anti-Trafficking and Violence Against Women and Traffic Children, which are established at the provincial, city, and municipal levels to coordinate and monitor the implementation of Republic Act Number no. 9208 and Republic Act Number no. 9262. And relative thereto, Please be informed also that the DILG recently issued a memorandum circular. This is circular number 2023-181 entitled Guidelines on the Operationalization of LCAT or BAUSI. Additionally, the DILG through this, through the National Barangay Operations Office also monitors the functionality of LCAT BAUSI to encourage LGUs to deliver services in line with the implementation of RA 9208 and 9262. And for the last Senate bill, Madam Chair, for Senate Bill 2529, we find no reason to interpose any objection on its passage. Uh, the, um, the establishment of the Philippine Commission on Children, especially the convergence of councils and committees on children. As we believe, this mechanism would help strengthen the existing coordination of all interagencies concerning the protection and promotion of the rights of children and to avoid duplication of efforts at the national level. Relative thereto, Madam Chair, we would like to highlight the provision on the involvement of LGUs. Uh, we suggest incorporating a, speci a specific provision on the roles of the LGUs, particularly the local councils for the protection of children or the LCPC, to ensure the vertical coordination between NGAs and LGUs in implementing relevant laws for children. Madam Chair, we will be submitting our official position paper on these three proposed measures. Thank you. Thank you very much, Attorney Rona Rica. Um, and also for giving the committee already um, input uh, for the uh, hoped for technical working group, uh, particular lalo na dun sa uh, papel na mga local government units kung saan uh, merong oversight yung inyong department, uh, especially in terms of the localization of the Safe Spaces Act uh, and the uh, the mandate for your local uh, anti-trafficking councils and national barangay operation centers uh, against uh, uh, kabastusan and also trafficking um, and uh, also the local councils for the protection of children. So marami salamat for pointing out those ways in which even uh, in these bills currently under consideration, pwede nating salaminin uh, not only what um, previous laws have been passed, pero yung uh, executive issuances and programs on the ground uh, with which uh, current laws and our bills under consideration uh, should coordinate. So muli salamat po para dyan. 
Now we will hear from the Department of Justice through Attorney Maria Lorin. Hi, uh, yes, ma'am. You have morning. the floor. Apo. Yes. Um, will the Department has yet to submit our official position and the proposed bills, SB 2232, 2293, and 2529. The Department has no uh, SBs in our initial review. We see no constitutional or legal impediment so as to object to the passage of the subject Senate bills. We are in full support of the said bills. On both SPs 2232 and 2293, we are, as I've mentioned earlier, in full support. Specifically, however, in SP 2529, in a gist, allow me, Madam Chair, to summarize a few points for the consideration of the committee uh, on our um, suggested on the proposed bill. Uh, it is suggested that in Section 4, composition of the Commission uh, not to designate the secretaries of the named departments as commissioners who will be subject to nomination and appointment by the President. Secretaries or their designated representatives may serve in an ex officio capacity without need of nomination or appointment in the Commission. The Commission may likewise request information from CWC on the specific functions of the listed departments tasked to coordinate with the Commission, as well as the functions envisioned to be performed uh, by these listed departments. This would allow the committee to evaluate the need for these department secretaries to serve in the proposed Commission. Also under Section 4, Paragraph B, and C, it is suggested to include additional provision and the qualification, qualification or term of said members of the commission. Lastly, to ensure that there is no overlap of functions of other councils, committees, and agencies that's to handle child-related issues, the committee may wish to elicit the position of the bodies identified in the draft bill. Madam Chair, we will submit our position paper where we will have more extensive discussion regarding our comments on each separate bills. Thank you po. Salamat din po sa inyo, Attorney Maria Lorin. Um, also by, through those inputs, further refining the, the process of composing uh, the new council. Although, of course, the committee hopes that uh, the secretaries will be willing and able uh, to serve as active members of the council uh, just to show the prioritization given by government to children. Uh, of course, uh, in the technical working group, we'll seriously uh, consider the, the alternative suggested uh, through the nomination by the secretaries and appointment uh, process uh, by the president. At least, nung mga alter ego ng mga secretaries natin sa council. All right. Salamat po sa inyo. Uh, now, from the Dole, uh, we will hear from, will it be from Attorney Barairo or Attorney Balite? Yes, uh, Attorney Barairo. Good morning po, Madam, Good morning po. Madam Chair. Uh, our, our department uh, commits to submit our position paper at the soonest possible time. Uh, but uh, we, we support the intent of the, of the, bill, of the bills to strengthen our existing laws in in order to harmonize with the recently ratified C-190 and also being part of the Interagency Council Against Violence uh, on Women and Children, DOLE is one in its pursuit with the, with the objectives. Uh, we will submit our uh, official position paper, uh, especially with regard to the, to the leaves uh, increasing to 20 days because uh, we we see that there is a need to 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 discuss with the employers and workers groups so that uh, a balance of interest can be attained, Madam Chair. So that would be all for now, Madam Chair. Thank you, po. Salamat din po, Attorney. Okay. Uh, the committee will await the position paper. Uh, and muli, mabuhay dun sa pagpasa nating lahat, pinagtulong-tulungan nating ipasa yung ILO Convention 190. Salamat sa pagpapaalala sa atin uh, sa napakabuting development na iyan para ma ma hindi lang ma-internalize natin pero ma-institutionalize 
po ito sa lahat ng mga batas natin moving forward, including hopefully the three uh, bills that we are considering. And then, well-noted po, yung sinabi nyo na kailangan ng department uh, mag-discuss sa mga employers din tungkol halimbawa sa particular na provision tungkol sa uh, dagdag na leaves. Uh, though, I would also like to share once more with the department something I've mentioned a few times to the good secretary na kayaan nyo na yung ano, DTI at iba pang departments mag-champion sa employers. Anyway, bawat sektor natin may champions naman sa cabinet at sa huli, ang presidente naman ang uh, either magre-reconcile ng mga naturally competing interests or sila yung magdedesisyon kung alin uh, at any point in time ang mangingibabaw. At uh, patuloy kasing aasahan ng komite na ang department ang champion ng manggagawa ng mga empleyado. So maraming salamat muli, uh, attorney. Al next call, um, uh, our resource person from the Council of Welfare of Children, for the Welfare of Children, subject of one of the bills under consideration this morning. Uh, so the floor is yours, uh, Yusek Tapales. Uh, isang makabatang umaga po sa atin lahat. First of all, uh, for Senate bills numbers uh, Rape and acts of lasciviousness. Madam Chair, I have seen you conduct numerous investigations concerning child rights violations. So, the Council for the Welfare of Children has been in existence since 1974. We were created under PD 603, uh, the law that uh, your Magna Carta of Children Bill seeks to finally uh, improve or repeal uh, after 50 years. We are celebrating our 50th year. We are a proud agency. We love what we do, but we are a very small agency. We have a big heart, but admittedly, we have a small we, we are a small agency with even a smaller budget. Finally, after 50 years, bills uh, pushing for the creation of the Philippine Commission on Children have been passed in both the House of Representatives and the Senate. Maybe it's high time because after 50 years, uh, we will be, we are now pushing for a bigger agency with a bigger manpower and presumably a bigger budget. We are now pushing for streamlining, harmonization, because there are many interagency councils and committees. That's why uh, I think there is a provision on four C's on the draft bill so that the Philippine Commission on Children can convene these committees if uh, if only to harmonize and streamline the efforts of our government. Gone will be the days where our government agencies and inter-agency uh, councils and committees would be working in silos. We will coordinate with each other. We will help with uh, we will help one another. Um, as a final note, Madam Chair. Um, we will do everything uh, to support this bill. We have attended all the hearings and the technical working group 
uh, meetings before the House of Representatives, bringing those lessons that we have learned at the lower chamber or the other chamber. Uh, we will introduce those lessons and perhaps uh, we can help you harmonize the bills, improve uh, proposed suggestions uh, on how to improve some, some, of the, some of the provisions. For instance, the inclusion of the National Youth Commission, the National Authority on Child Care, the JJWC, uh, on the Technical Advisory Group, which has been renamed as the National Children's Advisory Group before the House of Representatives because this is the nomenclature also used in the Magna Carta of Children. We will bring the, all those lessons and help this Honorable Committee and the authors of the bill to come up with the with the best version of this bill, which will be acceptable to all national government agencies and, of course, our private sector for the benefit of our children. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat din po, Yusek Tapales. Uh, the committee shares your obvious excitement about the uh, napipintong pagpapanganak sa uh, National Commission on Children. Salamat po. Uh, now we will hear from... Uh, may taga DSWD po ba rito, Comsec? Yes, ma'am, right in front of me. I'm sorry. All right, so uh, ASEC, Elaine, you have the floor, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, Madam Chair. In time with the celebration of Women's Month this March, uh, the DSWD would like to extend its gratitude to this committee for prioritizing the bills for women and ch children. Uh, we would like to uh, thank also the sponsor, uh, Senator Mark Villar, Senator Cynthia Villar, and of course yours truly, um, our chair this morning, Senator Risa Honteveros. Madam Chair, the DSWD as the chairperson of both the Interagency Council on Violence Against Women and Their Children and Council for the Welfare of Children supports all the three important legislative measures, especially, most especially, the updating of the 20-year-old law the anti-violence against women and their children. Madam Chair, this is another milestone for the women and children sector. The anti-trafficking law was already amended times, but this um, law was not uh, amended only now uh, that this uh, law will be amended. Madam Chair, while well, the proposed measures regarding the as the chairperson of the IAC Bausi, would like to provide initial recommendation to include for consideration the following items in the amendment. First, requirement of the IAC Bausi. Second, the IAC Bausi structure to define the structure of the council because uh, present share the designation of the DSWD as the chairperson, uh, the designation of the DILG as the vice person, vice person and the designation of the PCW as the secretariat is not under the law. It's under the resolution passed by the council. The organization and staffing composition of the secretariat should be explicitly identified also in the amendment, Madam Chair, including allocation for uh, its operation, whether it will be uh, under the DSWD as the chairperson or at the PCW as the secretariat. Um, we would like to uh, reiterate also, Madam Chair, to delineate in the amendment the scope of uh, the VAUCI so that there will be no confusion in other crimes like uh, the child abuse law. And uh, the creation of the National Protection Order Registry, establishment of the National Protection Order Registry database with victim not notification program to provide the victim survivor information about the status and whereabouts of their perpetrators. Uh, the detailed comments and recommendations, Madam Chair, for this legislative measure will be submitted by the, by the department. On the other note, Madam Chair, for the Philippine Commission on Children, of course, this, uh, as mentioned by Yusek Jello, this is a happy bill and we fully support the expansion of our attached agency, CWC. However, Madam Chair, we would like to reiterate and manifest to this committee that whether the CWC will be changed into commission, it is imperative to retain its status and at attached 
as an attached agency of the DSWD, we see the importance of uh, continued affiliation, and this will ensure effective coordination, alignment, and harmonization with existing DSWD's programs, specifically focused on children's well-being. For the Senate Bill Number 2232, Madam Chair, we will also submit our um, comments and recommendations. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you also, uh, ASEC Elaine, for the quite substantive uh, presentation of the elements of your to-be-submitted uh, position paper. Um, uh, lalo na dun sa apat na particular na mungkahin nyo so far. Timing na timing po na tinuko nyo una-una yung funding requirements dahil uh, by the middle of this year, a little past, matatanggap muli namin sa house yung yung uh, gab and pwede na naming uh, simulang pagtrabahuhin yung magiging gaan natin for next year uh, 2025. Uh, mabuti pinaalala nyo rin na yung structure pala ng iyak vowsi ay nandoon lamang sa isang resolution. So again, very timely to now uh, reflect that important provision under uh, a law, under uh, this law, uh, hopefully. Uh, and then, yes, to delineate the scope of VAUC. Uh, Napaka-interesante nung mungkahin nyo about creating a national protection order registry. Uh, I think it, it parallels yung mga ibang registries dito sa ating bansa at lalo na sa ibang mga bansa uh, para nakadocument yung uh, gender-related and women and children-related crimes uh, para nga po may, may pag-monitor, may pag-subaybay. Uh, hindi lamang dun sa kanilang welfare, pero um, yung whereabouts, as you said, nga nung perpetrators. Uh, kung ma-rehabilitate man sila o hindi, pero importante na meron tayong ganitong uh, talaan. And uh, uh, napansin ko yung... Uh, uh, parental jealousy ng, or possessiveness ng DSWD sa CWC. So I suppose isang magiging importanteng usapin ito uh, sa technical working group ko. Ano yung uh, tamang dapat na status at saka relasyon sa ibang mga ahensya ng gobyerno. So muli maraming salamat. Abangan po namin with great uh, interest yung uh, full position paper opo, ng DSWD. Salamat muli. Uh, Salamat uh, muli, uh, Sen Rafi, sa pagbalik ninyo dito sa Thank ating you, Madam uh, So we'll continue hearing our resource persons. Ngayon naman po mula sa uh, Juvenile Justice and Welfare Council, uh, Attorney, I'm sorry, uh, OIC Deputy Executive Director Lilibeth uh, Gallego. Good morning, Madam Chair. Yes, ma'am, you have the floor. Um, good morning, uh, uh, Madam Chair and Senator Tulfo. The, the Juvenile Justice and Welfare Council supports the passage of the three um, Senate bills, but specifically on SB, on the reorganization of the um, CWC into the Commission of um, Children. We would like to submit our uh, position, position paper on that, but um, initially we are now sharing our comments on the said bill. Um, first, on the explanatory note, we would like to suggest that uh, we clarify uh, further on the why of reorganizing the CWC and how it can address the issues on um, dedicated resources and improving efficiency in the bureaucracy. This seem to be the, um, the issues on the reorganization and we would like to suggest that we clarify further on this in the um, explanatory note um, citing facts and um, other information that we may have from uh, research and evaluations, if any. Also, um, PD 603 Article 209 says that CWC has the authority to reinforce and implement PD 603 and issue rules and reg regulations to carry out the provision of the law. Thus, we suggest uh, that the bill should also cross-reference uh, the functions of the proposed Commission on Children in relation to PD 603. 
Um, the other one is Section 9 of the bill states that the Commission shall issue a resolution to formalize the membership of the forces, which includes the JJWC, and also adds that the Commission shall oversee the implementation of the resolutions among the members of the forces. However, the convener of the forces is not specifically mentioned in the bill. Thus, we would like to clarify if the Commission Secretariat will also act as the convener of the forces. The other one is um, we also would like to um, suggest that to avoid confusion among the DSWD attached agencies and supervise attached and supervised agencies that will be part of the forces. We would like to suggest that it be stated in the bill that the administrative function of the DSWD over its attached agencies, uh, including the JGWC, JGWC, will not be affected by the proposed uh, reorganization. And lastly, also, um, Madam Chair, on Section 12, um, which states um, the, the, the inclusion of a play areas, uh, we think it's a bit um, out of place, but it's really very important. Uh, we also now note that there are provisions in PD 603 uh, in relation to this, so we just maybe need to do some alignment in relation to this. That's all, Madam Chair. Thank you. Salamat din po, uh, Ms. Lily Beth, and salamat sa presensya niyo sa hearing. Uh, as an uh, aside, I think the juvenile justice law is one of the uh, most underappreciated and mayat maya na, na mimis uh, interpret na batas, but really has an important role to play in the uh, development and, when necessary, rehabilitation of our children, of course, in partnerships uh, DSWD. So I, I just wanted to uh, assure you, ma'am, of the support of the chair and, and this committee uh, in the, your continued implementation of that law and others uh, in relation to uh, children. Well noted po yung uh, points uh, that you made, including on clarifying roles of the different stakeholders within uh, the council. Um, and salamat, it may seem to others na maliit na bagay yung pag uh, align nung saan sa saan sa batas at saan sa magiging mga programa yung mga play area but dahil nasa uh, I think it, if I, correct me if I'm wrong the convention on the rights of the child yung the, the right to play ng mga bata maigi po na isama pa rin po natin dun lamang sa tamang lugar ng batas so maraming salamat po uh, sa JJWC um So at this point, before I call uh, some others of our resource persons uh, from the national government agencies, may gustong erase na tanong si uh, Sen Rafi, uh, I guess to DICT or others. Sen Rafi, you have the floor. Yes, particularly dito sa IVA o si ACT, uh, Madam Chair, napakaganda itong batas na ito. Kasi sa aking karanasan, for so many years, ang dami mga kababaihan pupun sa programa ko, sila po ay pinapahiya bina blackmail ng kanila mga kasintahan or sino man pinopost yung kanilang mga nude pictures uh, usually ito yung mga dating karelasyon at kapag sila ay naghiwalay na yung kanila mga nude photos pinopost online uh, and malaking trauma ito para doon sa biktima and nahihirapan kami kuminsan pupunta kami sa uh, mga law enforcement agencies natin PNP and NBI na para maipadown yung picture na yon at gusto ko sana agad-agad madampot yung lalaking may kagagawa noon. So, ang tanong ko ngayon sa mga Tagalog Enforcement natin, um, meron na ba kayong polisiya ngayon kung paano nyo uh, gagawing mabilisan ang inyong aksyon, ay eh, agad-agad ma-delete ma, ma yung picture na pinos sa, na, sa biktima nitong uh, kung sino may lalaki yun and then B, meron ba tayong aksyon na agad-agad na merong kalalagyan yung perpetrator wants to answer? Would uh, the ICT like to feel this question? The ICT siguro? Is the ICT here? Yes, and Rafi. And dito po Good si morning, Senator. Yes, ma'am. Um, hi. I'm Yesli po from the ICT. 
Pero bago mo sagutin yun, ma'am, kasi ang, ang problema namin, even now, yung bang mapabura yung picture na na post online, sometimes it takes days. And then later on, kuminsan yung mismong perpetrator na lamang ang natakot dahil nakasumbong sa akin, sa kabinubura. Ang gusto ko sana, meron kami pupunta ng agency tulad ninyo na Pag tawag namin sa inyo, agad-agad mabubura para bawa sa trauma ng biktima. Yes, Senator. Um, we are working um, closely with our attached agency, which is the CICC, who is doing the policy and um, actions uh, together with the NBI po. Yung tukol po sa pagpapa-take down ng mga posting po, yung mga un unwanted posting po nito. And then... Uh, Kadalasan, sinasabi rin kasi nung ex-boyfriend nung biktima ay hindi naman ako nag-post yan. Yan ay uh, baka iba yan dahil pinarepair ko yung cellphone ko, baka yung repairman, kinuha yan at pinost. So, is there a way na malalaman natin agad-agad kung saan nag-originate yung posting at ma-identify natin kung sino nag-post talaga para yun yung isa sa mga kakasuhan natin? Bukod doon sa boyfriend niya. Now, of course, we know na galing naman talaga sa boyfriend niya. Nag-originate originate yung photo sa boyfriend niya. So, para pati yun kung sino man yung nag-post, ay makasuhan na rin kung saan galing yun. Is that something that the ICT can do? Um, yes po, Senator. Um, uh, with our attached agency, which is the CICC, this is um, um, included po with the policy, yung investigation po, saan yung nag-originate, kung sino po yung mga kailangan managot, Um, kasama po to na kinoconsider ng department po para po matugunan po yung mga ganitong nangyayari po. O kaya niyo po yun. And then at the same time, kaya niyo mapabura. Siguro, kung ba sa Facebook, kaya niyo mapabura sa Facebook. So may contact ba kayo sa Facebook Philippines, sa Meta? May mga contact ba kayo sa TikTok, sa YouTube? Um, Senator, for the specific po, how we can take down this one po, isasubmit po namin to with our technical para po we can further study po yung um, agad-agaran action. Ah, so hindi nyo pa alam kung pa paano? Uh, sa technical po namin po, iano. and then also uh, with uh, cooperations po dito sa mga Facebook and other... Of ano, course, na, wala kayong magagawa kasi siyempre ang may hawak naman yung alam mo, Facebook, yung mga taga-Facebook. Maybe... Um, get a uh, connection or contact from uh, Facebook, from YouTube, TikTok na kung meron na kayong contact sa kanila kayo na siguro makipag-communicate sa kanila with the NBI para sabihan na i-delete na yung picture na yon, right there and then Noted po, Senator. We'll take note po Thank you, Thank you po Thank you po, ma'am. Thank you, Madam Chair Salamat po, uh, Sen Rafi. And mamaya pagdawag ko sa resource person from the NBI on the three bills, uh, please also comment uh, if you can, uh, I think you can, uh, sa tanong uh, ni Sen Rafi ngayon-ngayon lamang. So ngayon, we will hear from the NAC sa pamamagitan ni Asek Cruena Makalintal. You have the floor, ma'am. Thank you po, Madam Senator. Madam Chair Risa Enteveros, and good morning po, Senator Rafi Tulfo. Um, the National Authority for Child Care fully supports the three legislative measures being deliberated upon. We were asked to give comments to two of these, and if I may just re uh, read the brief manifestation of support and comments of Yusek Janela, Ejercito Estrada, Madam Chair. The NECC supports the intention of Senate Bill Number 2232 by expanding the coverage and penalties provided for in the original Safe Spaces Act. We agree that by inserting the provisions on penalties for gender-based sexual harassment in the workplace and the penalties for gender-based sexual harassment in education and training institutions, and by increasing the penalty, the duration of imprisonment, and the amount of fine to ensure that appropriate penalties, which is more or less commensurate to the damage caused by said act of gender-based sexual violence, further strengthens the legislative intent of this important measure. On the matter of Senate Bill 2529, authored by the good senator and chair of the Committee on Women, Children, Family Relations, and Gender Development, the NACC is in full support of any endeavor of this endeavor intended to promote the welfare and best interests of children and to protect their safety and total well-being. Having said this, the NACC therefore proposes for your consideration, Madam Chair, that we be included in the Board of Commissioner or in the so-called 4Cs or whichever is applicable um, 
at the least, although the NACC is neither a council or a committee, since the NACC is mandated by law to be the central authority in domestic administrative adoption, inter-country adoption, and alternative child care, I hope that we be included in the said membership and in the succeeding discussion because the children that we serve are those who were deprived of or with relinquished parental authority. Hence, the children that we serve are those considered the most vulnerable among the already vulnerable sector in our society. The abandoned, neglected, foundlings, orphaned, dependent, abused and exploited children in need of families whose interests need to be represented when general matters about children is being discussed. However, it may be of great help, help if the proposed bill can further justify the crucial and overarching need for the reorganization of the CWC currently attached to the DSWD into the new Philippine Commission on Children attached to the Office of the President in relation to the general efforts on streamlining of bureaucratic structure and processes in the government. But nevertheless, the NACC fully supports this measure. Thank you, Madam Chair, for always inviting us to these public hearings, and thank you for the kind attention and the ardent support that you always generous, generously extend to the NACC. We already have um, submitted our position paper, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Ase Cruena, uh, dun sa position paper at sa presentation yung ngayon and uh, well noted po yung position at saka yung mga uh, recommendations din po ninyo. Thank you very much. Uh, ngayon po... Uh, Tulong nga po ang NBI. Salamat po at inaasahan po namin yon moving forward. Thank you, Thank Madam you. Chair. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. So now we'll hear from uh, the National Youth Commission, uh, ASEC Attorney Rina Pineda. You have the floor, Attorney Rina. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, good morning to Senator Tulfo. Goodbye also to Senator Tulfo. Um, <laughs> yes, po. Um, so we'll comment on the best. Easy po. morning po. Yes, yes please po. proceed, ASEC <laughs> Rina. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, we'll comment on the bills, uh, per bill. Pa. So for SB 2290 or uh, the anti-evousy uh, amendment, uh, we, in uh, in the smallest amount of words, we really support this measure. But we do uh, want to share our observation that the current penalty under 9262 for physical abuse is lower than the penalty um, being provided or being proposed under this act. So it might be a good measure to uh, further study the, the current ratio of penalties so we can create uh, we can impose uh, the appropriate uh, types. For SB 2232, Madam Chair or the Safe Spaces uh, Amendment again the NYC supports this legislation. We support any legislation that will foster a safe and secure environment for our youth uh, and we believe that increasing the penalty for harassment can do such that. Um, we also, However, we also uh, want to share or take note that uh, the amendments proposed in these in this uh, bill 
imposes penalties for uh, quote unquote any person. We want to highlight that we want to propose the preservation under Section 24, which states that minors shall only be held administratively liable because uh, the mandate of the National Youth Commission compels us to uh, pursue the protection of our youth and to push push for leniency and possible reformation of our youth as well. For SB uh, 2529 or the bill on the CWC see um we also support this measure and we have no reason to object uh we also want to highlight that in fact this is part of our current philippine youth development plan uh the creation of uh the cwc um we have also pledged our support to the various house bills and we pledge the same to the current senate bill as well we will pass a more detailed position paper madam chair thank you so much When you were talking, for example, about NYC's view that current ratios of uh, penalty should be made appropriate ac across laws, naalala ko nung ginagawa din namin yung mga naunang batas tulad din ng bawal bastos. So this was also something that we had to pay uh, particular attention to. Uh, salamat sa tingin ng NYC na imposing the appropriate penalties can uh, induce a corrected uh, behavior. Uh, among uh, perpetrators. And marami salamat dun sa pagbibigay diin ninyo that minors should be held only administratively liable. In a way, it echoes yung earlier point I raised to the JJWC na how important the juvenile justice law and others uh, are in terms of providing restorative justice uh, even and especially for uh, our children. And lastly, ang saya naman uh, mapaalalahanan na sa Philippine Youth Development Plan mismo, uh, may ano na doon, nakikinikinita na yung pagpapanganak uh, sa uh, Philippine Commission on Children. So thank you very much, Asekrina. And now we'll hear from the DBM through Director Attorney Trisha Baraan. Good morning, Madam. Yes, ma'am, you have the floor. And everyone. First of all, po, we support po the bills. And we, we on the funding, po, we recommend that the implementation of these bills be sourced from the annual GAA, subject to the usual budget process. And then we, we agree po with you, Secta Palace and the DSWD. We, we, uh, the strengthening measures have been mentioned several times. So we also support that po to, to also encourage convergence of all agencies concerned to ensure that there will be no duplication of functions, activities, and funding. Thank you po, Madam Chair. Salamat, Attorney Trisha, for the usual brief but very important input from DBM kasi kayo yung department na pinaka ine-enable ang gobyerno to put its money where its mouth is. And uh, salamat dun sa recommendation nyo. I-source yung uh, lahat ng kinakailangan para sa pag-operationalize ng tatlong uh, batas, hopefully, na ito uh, from the GAA. So, uh, uh, at least on the part of the Senate, uh, we look forward to uh, the support of uh, DBM for these, at least for fiscal year 2026, dahil medyo huli na yung uh, para sa 2025 uh, from, the, from the national government agencies. Unless, of course, in negotiation with its fellow department, the DBM, meron pa silang uh, magawang paraan to advise us dito naman po sa Kongreso. So, salamat muli, uh, Attorney Tresha. Now we'll hear from Philippine Commission on Women, Maria Rebecca Bailosis. Uh, yes, ma'am, yes. uh, Supervising Specialist. Yes. You have the floor, Paul. Uh, good morning, Madam Chair and uh, fellow women and children's rights advocates. Uh, happy Women's Month. Uh, happy Women's Month. Yes, happy Women's Month. Batiin naman natin ang isa't isa, ang mga katabi natin at nasa likod ng Happy Women's Month. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. You have yeah. the floor. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. So on behalf of the Philippine Commission on Women, I wish to express our uh, support to the three legislative measures being discussed um, this morning and specific to the two legislative measures which 
we've been asked to comment on so on senate bill number 2232 um the philippine commission of course fully supports the bill which uh provides penalties for gender-based sexual harassment in education and training institution and the workplace uh, amending the safe spaces act so every person especially women and girls has the right to learn and work without fear of sexual harassment in educational and training institutions and workplace where they reasonably expect security and safety. Thus, the PCW supports that the penalties for gender-based sexual harassment in these establishments be of significant amount greater than those provided for gender-based online sexual harassment in the Safe Spaces Act and consider considerably higher than those provided in the Anti-Sexual Harassment Act. Um, nonetheless, to further enhance the bill, the PCW also recommends, um, based on our consultation, to add certain provisions um, for guidelines on community service and the inclusion of uh, other measures addressing the following gaps which we have observed, such as the establishment um, of mechanisms uh, when the establishment of a committee on decorum and investigation or CODI may not be feasible, um, addressing the protection of student interns whose stay is temporary in training um, set settings, and finally the, uh, addressing the processing time for resolving administra administrative complaints. On uh, Senate Bill 2293 uh, uh, on the expanded anti vouchy uh, law. The Philippine Commission on Women strongly supports the proposed legislative measure as uh, the crucial amendments addresses the evolving landscape of violence against women and children, partic particularly through the use of information and communications technology or other electronic means. In our increasingly digital world, the prevalence of violence against women and children perpetrated to ICT has become alarmingly evident and the impact of electronic violence can be profound and enduring. The harm and violence inflicted through cyberspace can persist indefinitely with victim survivors of electronic forms of violence being subjected to ongoing trauma as the digital footprint of their abuse, as being no noted by Senator uh, Tulfo, can remain accessible long after the initial harm was inflicted. Nonetheless, to uh, also strengthen the legislative measures similar to the DSWD, the PCW also wish to highlight other possible amendments to um, the bill. Um, first is highlighting the recent jurisprudence and consultations conducted by PCW on the need for clarity on the definition of violence against women and their children as provided under Section 3A and other relevant provisions of the law, so that only violence committed by the present or former spouse or relationship partner of the woman, and not the woman herself, is covered by Republic Act 9262 or the soon to be e vouchy law. So this will delineate its score from other crimes provided under um, RA 7610, the revised penal code and other laws. Um, uh, the commission also supports the other provisions of the e vouchy or the expanded vouchy D as well as those providing mechanisms to protect women migrant workers. Further to this, we recommend to include a provision that grants jurisdiction, uh, jurisdiction to local courts over any acts penalized by RA 9262, even if committed outside the Philippines as applicable, whether or not such act constitutes an offense at the place of its commission. Um, and on the mechanisms for implementing the law, we support the inclusion of civil society members to the ayak Vausi to the council in line with the implementation of a whole of society approach to addressing Vausi. Nonetheless, similar to DSWD, we recommend that the structure of the council be specified and a dedicated secretariat be created considering the expanded membership being proposed in the bill. Furthermore, we recommend the inclusion of a provision for dedicated resources for implementing the law rather than just relying on common sources such as the GAD budget, where competition for its use uh, can make anti-VAUSI programs underfunded or unfunded in certain cases. 
So as we have recently commemorated the 20th anniversary of the passage of RA 9262, actually last March 8th, which is the International uh, Women's Day. So this is really a very opportune and good time to reaffirm our commitment to the full protection and empowerment of all women and girls through the passage of this legislative measure. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much, uh, Supervising Specialist Maria Rebecca. Uh, Rafaela, for uh, another substantive uh, input, uh, including the the recommendations, so guidelines on community service, since we are really after, well, not just restorative justice, but the reformation of uh, perpetrators and the internalization in our cultures, in our societies uh, of these values or new values that uh, we are trying to uh, to implant. Uh, interesting, the point about establishing mechanisms where CODI is not feasible. Uh, for one, the chair is also curious to know where CODI might not be feasible and therefore uh, kung ano pa yung mga ibang mekanismo na maaring i-establish. Salamat sa pagbanggit sa student interns. Uh, student interns themselves have raised their concerns kahit sa ibang mga komite. Uh, hanimbawa, uh, the Senate Committee on Education, the Senate Committee on Labor, dahil Ayun, may, mga, may mga concerns din sila and thank you for also uh, reflecting their stakeholdership dito sa, uh, sa bills uh, na ito. Uh, the time for addressing administrative complaints and then um, salamat for also mentioning the leave benefits no, na binanggit din ng, uh, ng dole uh, kanina. Thank you for the mention of women migrant workers, uh, often uh, who also bring their concerns, for example, to the Senate Committee chaired by Sen Rafi, uh, Senate Committee on, on uh, Migrant Workers, lalo na dahil patuloy yung, I'm sure, nasusubaybayan na sinachampion ng PCW yung feminization of migration. Uh, and the matter of the jurisdiction of local courts, which uh, comes up also in uh, hearings of other committees, uh, ganun din sa Committee on Migrant Workers yung currently dinidinig namin na uh, how and when do labor laws of our country and other countries apply uh, in the in the situation of overseas Filipino workers. Um, so marami salamat no, for, for these many important points. Uh, nakakatuwa rin dahil PCW parang pwedeng historically maituring na isa sa mga nanay ng PCC naman <laughs> parehong ano uh, maging Philippine Commission so thank you again uh, Ms. Maria Rebecca now we will hear from uh, the e I'm sorry the PNP from Chief Police Brigadier General Portia Manalad you have the floor ma'am uh, good morning madam chair good morning to the honorable members of this committee the Philippine National Police, as the country's premier enforcer of the laws of the land, fully supports Bill Number 2232, 2529, and 2293. However, if I may state, Madam Chair, RA Number 9262 gave birth to the Women and Children Protection Center of the Philippine National Police by investigating and prosecuting violence against women and their children. With the advent of technology, and the proliferation of cyberspace criminals, the law must evolve in order to adapt to, to its changing landscapes. Hence, it is humbly suggested by the center, or our center, the WCPC, that it may be capacitated by being the focal law enforcement agency to handle VAUSI. But then, we support, the Philippine Nationals support the three bills of this um, committee, being consistent with existing laws and furthering public welfare. And uh, likewise, Madam Chair, we will uh, submit our position paper to this committee. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat din po, Police Brigadier General Portia. The committee will await uh, the position paper. At uh, salamat dun sa continuing desire uh, ng inyong uh, Women and Children Protection Center na makapacitate to keep up with and stay ahead of uh, yung pag evolve din ng mga krimen laban sa mga kababaihan at saka sa mga bata. And likewise, the chair would like to express the committee's gratitude to the PNP sa assistance na ine-extend sa amin sa iba't ibang mga investigasyon tulad ng in-express namin ni Sen. Rafi kanina sa NBI. So salamat po muli, ma'am. And now, um, we will hear from the ECCD Council Program Development Officer, Ms. Kara Catherine Uy. 
Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Edwin Taleon. You have the floor, sir. Okay, good morning. Good morning, Madam Chair. Good morning to everyone. Uh, I'll just read our position on the Senate Bill number 2529 for an act reorganizing the Council for the Welfare of Children into the Philippine Commission on Children. So the Early Childhood Care and Development Council supports uh, the passing of the of the Philippine Commission on Children Act as proposed, as we also recognize the crucial role children play in the development and progress of the country. Uh, with its provision on the creation of the convergence of uh, councils and committees on children, uh, the efficient coordination and collaboration between and among councils and committees will address concerns on children and ensure the protection and promotion of their welfare at the national, regional, and local levels. So in keeping with uh, RA 10 for 10 or the Early Years Act, uh, wherein the state recognizes the early years as the first crucial stage of um, educational development, uh, the ECCD Council's responsibility is for age 0 to 4, uh, particularly in establishing national standards, developing policies and programs, and uh, providing technical assistance and support to ECCD service providers in consultation with coordinating committees. So again, we are uh, supporting the passage of this bill, and this uh, position paper is already submitted. Okay, thank you. Thank you uh, very much, Planning Officer Taleon. And the committee will await uh, the full position paper of the ECCD. Pero ngayon pa lamang, salamat po sa suporta uh, ng uh, council uh, para sa mga panukalang ito. Thank you, sir. And now, um, last but not the least, we will hear from Ched, from Attorney Pete. I mean, last but not the least, for the national government agencies, ano po? From Attorney Peter Carpio. Morning, Madam Chair. Uh, yes, sir. You have the floor. Morning, uh, Madam Chair. In, insofar as the Chair is concerned uh, as to Senate Bill number 2232, which amends uh, RA 1131, uh, RA, RA number 11313 or the Safe Peace Act, uh, we'd like to express our ano po, support for this measure. Uh, in fact, uh, the Chair has already issued Chair Memorandum Order number 3, Series of 2022, uh, which is the guidelines on gender-based sexual harassment in higher education institutions. Uh, we will also submit our our, our written and um, um, And for uh, informing us of the existence and earlier existence of the memorandum order, in po namin yung position paper ng commission. Salamat, sir. Uh, Before we move to our NGO resource persons, the chair notes that uh, the DOH would have wanted for another resource person, uh, Dr. Alexander De La Fuente, to speak again for the department on the Safe Spaces uh, Amendment Bill. If if you, the department and the good doctor wouldn't mind, could the good doctor submit it in writing instead to the committee, just in the interest of time, uh, it's just that the, the chair has to catch up with the commission on appointments uh, on a, an, an, another urgent woman uh, matter also that's before the, the commission. Marami salamat, uh, Dr. De La Fuente, sa inyong pag-unawa at sa DOH. The committee will wait for that. Thank you so much, Paul. Now we will hear from our NGO resource persons. Uh, unang una na po mula sa DSWP, uh, Ms. Beth Angshoko, you have the floor. Magandang magandang umaga po, uh, Senator Risa, and good morning to everyone. Uh, in the interest of time, we will not go into the specifics of our recommendation, uh, recommended amendments, but instead we'll just uh, do our general comments. We, the DSWP in principle, fully supports the passage into law of 2232, 2293, and 2529. Specifically on 2232, we would want to say that uh, when we were doing the I, 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 in, in, uh, implementing rules and regulations of the Safe Spaces Act, this has already been noticed, the gap in terms of penalty, and, and therefore we are happy 
that uh, this is now being addressed. Uh, and we wish that the bill would pass uh, soon on uh, Senate Bill 2293 on amendments to the anti vowsy law. We, the, the DSWP would like to underscore that we have a special emotional attachment to, to 9262 because this was uh, the, the advocacy for this law was participated in very actively by our organization then. And uh, we support the passage of, of, uh, of this bill as we supported uh, it in the House of Representatives. However, however, we would want to have the opportunity to, to, uh, for further, uh, amendments, uh, uh, perhaps in the TWG, Madam Chair, because we know, we hope that we could further, we could help in further strengthening the law, especially as it is implemented in the barangays and, and the local government units, because we are aware of certain problems, uh, in the implementation in, in barangays and LGUs. And also, we we hope that uh yes the women's rights organizations can uh have uh a more active participation in terms of implementing the law now uh on sb2529 authored by the chair uh we fully support uh this uh, the passage of this bill but we would propose specific am amendments along the lines of assuring the rights uh, the specific rights and needs and interests of girls, uh, 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 ensuring that these are addressed, and also ensuring the active participation of uh, the Philippine Commission on Women in the in the implementing structures of the eventual legislation, and perhaps also of women's rights organizations. Otherwise, Madam Chair, those are our comments and. Uh, we hope to be able to participate in in the TWGs that will be uh, that will be organized on the three bills so that we can forward our specific recommendations. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat din, uh, Ms. Beth. Now we will hear from Save the Children, Attorney Emma Salanani. Sorry, Attorney Emma Salmani. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Thank you po, magand, ma, Madam Chair, at magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, Save the Children uh, supports the proposed transformation of the Council of the Welfare for Chi of Children into the Philippine Commission on Children. We believe that this change is necessary to strengthen the institutional frameworks and mechanisms for the protection and promotion of children's rights in the Philippines and for mainstreaming children's concerns at all levels and entities within the government. However, uh, we are proposing some enhancements to further strengthen the bill. Number one, in the commission, in the composition of the board of commissioners and in the technical advisory group, we propose to include the national council for indigenous people and the Nas national council for Disability Affairs and the ECCD Council. Uh, we also recommend the inclusion of the Philippine Commission on Women to ensure smooth transition in programming and services when the girl child reaches the age of majority. Uh, in the on child participation, uh, we notice that only one child representative is uh, included in the Board of Commissioners and in the technical advisory group. Uh, based on recommendations coming from children themselves, uh, we are recommending that the number of uh, representative in the uh, board of commissioners and in the technical working group uh, be increased to two or three children. Uh, this will ensure that children are not intimidated when they are attending uh, meetings and they feel com confident when they are sharing their advocacies in the presence of their peers. Uh, we also recommend as an additional function to the Board of Commissioners the creation of a permanent and regular child-friendly mechanism processes and platforms so that children can truly exercise their right to participate. 
Uh, the details of our recommendations will be uh, included in the position paper that we will be submitting after this hearing. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you also, um, Attorney Emma, uh, for the uh, suggestions, the recommendations from Save the Children. Very well noted po, and I'm sure will be very helpful hanggang sa technical working group. The Chair would like to acknowledge the presence of Senator Francis Tolentino. Salamat, Sen Francis, uh, pagdalo nyo. Uh, would you like to make any uh, opening remark before we continue? Uh, nothing to say. I just feel outnumbered here uh, because of the sheer number of uh, we're celebrating Women's Month. But I'm familiar with what the previous lady mentioned a while ago. I'm familiar with the uh, international rights of the child. The, 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 that, that group was founded by, if I'm not mistaken, Miss Jeb in, in London. Uh, century ago, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just here to listen, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, uh, San Francis. So now we will hear from the Child Rights Network, uh, Ms. Sara Kalma. Hello po. Uh, yes, good morning po, Madam Chair, and to the Honorable Committee. Um, sa, um, mula po sa amin, sa C Child Rights Network, uh, we fully support the SB 2529 and welcomes the creation of a dedicated national agency for children's concerns, which is essential in addressing their concerns. Um, we have submitted na po, uh, Madam Chair, our position paper and kindly allow me to read po the highlights, um, commending the following important provisions. Una po, the creation of a dedicated commission for children will ensure meaningful implementation of laws created for children, Philippine Commission on Children or PCCH as oversight body to structures created by law, the creation of technical advisory group focused on evaluation of policies and programs for children, and lastly, inclusion of child advocates and child representatives in the Board of Commissioners. Um, Madam Chair, we also respectfully recommend the inclusion of child-focused organizations, particularly CRN and its members, as well as children and youth organizations in the technical working group for the development of the implement, implementing rules and regulations. Muli po sa CRN, uh, we fully support for the immediate passage of Senate Bill 2529 and we remain committed to helping ensure that children are at the heart of the law. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat po. Uh, Coordinator Sara, I've heard the beautiful uh, motto of CRN, yung bata sa puso ng batas, and you just said it in, just in English, uh, children at the heart of the law. Uh, really beautiful. Salamat po sa position paper na naisumitin nyo na, and for the highlights you uh, have just made. Uh, of course, you very welcome yung participation ninyo at ng mga organization sa TWG. Yung IRR naman talagang... Uh, Court, uh, kumbaga that, that ball is in your court. Nasa labas na po sa aming mga legislator. So we will count on you uh, at that point to, to make sure that the IRRs will flesh out uh, the law. Uh, no more, no less. Lalo na. Salamat po. Now we will hear from UNICEF. From, will it be from uh, Mr. Villafranca or from Ms. Rodeliza? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ms. Rodeliza Barrientos Casado. Uh, yes. Casado. You have the floor, ma'am. Yes. Madam Chair, United Nations Children's Fund welcomes the ongoing efforts of the Philippine Senate to deliberate on the establishment of a Philippine Commission on Children. We believe that this is a clear response to the recommendations of the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child, which has recommended in its recent concluding observations the need for the establishment of a governmental structure with strong authority, adequate resources, and a clear mandate to coordinate all activities regarding the implementation of the Convention. This also addresses the commitments laid out by the government to achieve its upper middle income status in the Ambition 2040 and more recently the Pathways to those commitments in the, de in the Philippine Development Plan 2023 to 2028. As outlined in UNICEF's mission, the survival, protection, and development of children are universal imperatives that are integral to human progress. With these motivations, 
UNICEF finds it important to support the passage of a single national agency that possesses high-level convening power and takes the lead in implementing the Philippine government's commitment in implementing the spirit and intent of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. We note that such a dedicated agency with its clear roles and responsibilities to implementation of the Convention of the Rights of the Child will support the re realization of the Ambition 2040. UNICEF will submit its full uh, position paper. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Ms. Rodeliza. Uh, abangan po namin yung position paper. All right. Um, uh, the chair will try, and I think he'll be able to wrap up in about 10 minutes kasi tinatawag na po ako dun sa uh, Commission on Appointments. But thank you, Ms. Rodeliza, for um, citing yung mga international and national kumbaga, uh, frameworks natin, Convention on the Rights of the Child, and then nationally, the Ambition 2040 and the Philippine Development Plan. Tulad nung pagpapaalala kanina ni... Uh, Asek Rina about the Philippine Youth uh, Development Plan. Always good to uh, that meron tayong ganitong mga anchors, no? mga handholds and footholds. Thank you very much, ma'am. Now we'll hear from UN Women, from Sigrid Sibug. Good morning, Madam Chair. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting the United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women um, to provide an intervention today. I'll keep my intervention brief, focusing on three points. First, UN Women commends these legislative developments and notes that these are a step towards alignment with the uh, UN Committee on the Convention of Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women recommendations uh, for 2023 to the Philippines, particularly on ensuring that all forms of gender-based violence against women are specifically criminalized and taking into account the special protection needs and services for disadvantaged and marginalized groups of women, including women migrant workers and LBT women. Second, we wish to highlight that the incorporation of cyber crimes between couples and former couples, which often involve the use of online platforms to threaten, harass, or further violate women of various ages has long been needed, and thus we welcome the proposed amendment. We also hope to emphasize the need to intensify awareness raising and sensitization efforts in all of our, in, in various settings, including in educational institutions and workplaces towards changing harmful norms and beliefs that perpetuate gender-based violence, specifically violence against women. Lastly, also in line with the CEDA recommendations, we underscore the need to make sure the allocation of financial resources to ensure the full implementation of laws on the rights and welfare of women and girls in all their diversity, including these proposals when passed, as well as the need for a more comprehensive capacity building for law enforcement agencies and other relevant institutions to complement awareness raising efforts. We hope for the consideration of these points by the committee and thank you again. Thank you. And of course, they are very well taken and as always will definitely be considered. So, salamat, um, Sigrid. Now we'll hear from the Young Feminist Collective, uh, Isabel Agregado. Hello po. Yes, hello. You have Good morning, uh, Madam Chair, uh, Senator Talentino, the honorable members of this committee, and everyone else here today. Isabel po from Young Fem. We've already sent our complete possession paper to the committee this morning po nung nasa biyahe ako. Uh, but please allow me to share our key points, especially on SB2293. Uh, the Young Feminist Collective extends its support for the proposed amendments to RA 9262 or the Vowsi Act as put forth by Senator Mark Villar through Senate Bill 2293. As a collective of young individuals who at more than one point in our lives experience multiple forms of violence and harassment, we express our sincere gratitude to Senator Mark Villar for his dedication to addressing this issue and of course to the committee chaired by Senator Risa for hearing this proposed bill. We commend your efforts in recognizing the necessity of refining our laws to adapt to our current norms, our current uh, technological advancements, and our current realities. We underscore the urgent need to address the escalating rate of as young as 10 to 14 years old. 
Research conducted by some of our colleagues revealed how adolescents are engaging in anonymous online relationships through gaming and social media platforms where fake accounts and photos can be used to initiate intimate romantic connections. I've personally seen how children are lured into these relationships, believing these people are their peers, but who may be older and who are taking advantage of the platform's anonymity. This distressing trend is starkly reflected in the increasing incidence of GBV as well as early adolescent pregnancies, as CWC has mentioned earlier. Alarmingly, we know that the um, Live births among adolescent mothers below 15 years old has surged by 35% according to the latest POPCOM data. We hope that these contexts and realities are duly considered as well in the proposed amendment to the RA 9262. We also wish to highlight crucial considerations that merit attention in the revision of this legislation. So speaking of another trend, just two months ago, uh, my idol Taylor Swift has been the subject of numerous deepfake AI photos spread online as seemingly real pictures. With this, we strongly urge that the legislation include addressing the concerning rise in the misuse of artificial intelligence and other technological advancement to perpetrate harassment and create exploitative materials targeting women and girls. If it can happen to Taylor, it can happen to us as well. Celebrities, uh, government officials, women, children, and all Filipinos included. As Senator Rafi has mentioned, it is very, very taxing to have to report each and every exploitative post, to have them taken down. Even as CSOs, we cannot do this on our own. So we need to ensure through laws, through implementation, we that online platforms are held responsible for proactively addressing threats and harms happening on these platforms. and everyone that violence against women and girls, even when it is not physical, even when it is not committed in person, has no place in society. As advocates for women and girls' rights, Young Femme stands ready to support the committee's efforts in exploring how we can strengthen the protections afforded by RA 9262. We look forward to collaborating uh, further in the pursuit of leg legislative measures that prioritize the safety and well-being of in all individuals, especially women and children. Uh, of course, lastly, we urge policymakers to continue to seize this opportunity to react, to enact and reform legislation that reflects the, co the complexities of modern society and ensure the safety and well-being of all individuals, regardless of gender, regardless of age. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Isabel. Uh, the committee will do its best to respond to your uh, challenge. Uh, salamat sa pagbanggit ng iba pang mga issue, hindi man diretsong tinatala kay dito sa tatlong panukala natin, syempre uh, kaugnay. Uh, and I, I assure you, I, I'm, I'm almost certain you're not the only Swifty in the room. Okay. So ngayon, let's hear from, okay, great, the Fi Psychological Association of the Philippines is here. Let's hear from Ms. Olivia Pahente Pelagio. Yes, ma'am, you have the floor. Good morning, Madam morning. Chair and the members of this committee. Uh, the Psychological Association of the Philippines is grateful of this endeavor for the welfare, well-being, and mental health in general of women and children. Hence, uh, we will fully support the three important legislative agenda, uh, supporting women and children and does not pose any objection. We're also very willing uh, to help um, and continuously advocate for the continued implementation and enforcement of this. Also, on the note, uh, we hope to, uh, we're looking forward that when a child or a woman survivor come and seek help, a one-stop shop services will be provided, which means there is already the presence of medical legal, a basic crisis counseling with the social and legal services, so there is no need for the survivor to keep on coming for her case and no need to repeat on telling her story as this can be very traumatic. Hence, a mechanism along this line and so with a referral system may be established uh, in this law, uh, in the IRR, hopefully, uh, as part of the intervention because intervention is really, really uh, necessary, if not postvention. Yeah, and thank you and looking forward to work with you. 
I'm looking forward also to that, uh, Ms. Olivia. Salamat po. Kung sa IRR man o sa mga uh, direct programs and partnerships na uh, siguro merong mga stakeholders around the table na pwedeng makipagtulungan sa PAP. Um, the committee really supports that and, and the chair really uh, supports that. Uh, marami, lalo na ito pong ideya na, ninyo ng one-stop shop uh, services. Salamat po. And last but not the least, uh, for our resource persons in today's hearing from Centro Women, Doris Opeña. Yes, ma'am. You have the floor, po. Good morning. Good morning, po, uh, mga uh, Madam Chair, uh, Senator. Uh, mula po sa Centro Women, kami po ay lubos na nakikiisa sa usapin ng Safe Spaces Act kasama Sama po ang ating mga Honorable Senator sa paghahanda ng mga kinakailangang pagbabago upang tiyakin ang malawak na saklaw ng batas na ito laban sa anumang forma ng karahasan. Ang sentro po ay makakaasa ng suporta mula sa trade union bilang aktibong kabahagi at upang tiyakin ang ating lipunan ay magkaroon ng matibay na pagkapantay-pantay sa usapin ng kasarian. Um, in addition to that po ay... Definition po para sa heads ng organization at education institution, pagpapalapad ng application, bagong provision sa lahat ng nakatataas sa naturang institusyon, hindi lamang sa Pangulo. Meron ding proposal sa provision upang mapalakas ang implementasyon ng Safe Space Act at patungkol sa Section 31 exceptions. Maraming salamat po. Uh, maraming salamat din po uh, kasamang Doris. Uh, kanina pinaalala din po ni uh, Attorney Barairo na kapapasa lang po natin, uh, kakakonkur uh, ng Senado sa uh, uh, Convention uh, 190, isa pong tagumpay ng uh, uh, kilusang paggawa at lalo na ng mga kababaihan sa loob nun. So salamat po sa patuloy na uh, suporta ninyo. At tumaasa po ang komite sa patuloy pang pakikilahok uh, ng Centro Women sa trabaho ng komite. Um, all right. Um, at this point, uh, I would like to thank everyone, including uh, my dear colleagues, San Francis, uh, and earlier, uh, San Rafi. I'd like to thank everyone for sharing your expertise gleaned from experience. Malaking tulong po ito sa pag-aaral at uh, pagsinsin pa no ng mga panukalang tinalakay natin ngayong umaga lalo na uh, baon yung maraming inyong uh, mga rekomendasyon it's imperative that as our uh, realities electronic and otherwise evolve so should as several of our resource persons have said so should our laws and policies the committee will be calling a TWG salamat sa maraming nagvolunteer na a TWG to further discuss these bills in detail. Uh, at muli, marami pong salamat at magandang umaga. This hearing uh, is adjourned. Salamat.